We rolling? We rolling. We rolling. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to start this? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, what's up? My name's Victoria, and this is... I'm Nathan. And today, we are coming at you with a video about one of my favorite things to think about, talk about, as far as relationships go, and that is the idea of emotional intimacy and vulnerability with your partner. To me, it is super important and it's not nearly talked about enough. So I wanted to make a video and talk about it. Plus, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up next week, Tuesday, just a couple days. And I actually have a special new project I've been working on, a product I created, and I wanna tell you guys about it. It's like for a date night for couples, emotional intimacy date night to help you create emotional intimacy in your relationship, especially if um, communication and talking about issues is something that you struggle with, but not only if it's something you struggle with. I mean, I think it's great for couples that have good communication too. So we'll tell you more about that. But first we want to share a little bit about what emotional intimacy is to us and how we intentionally cultivate it in our relationship and what it looks like for us. So to me, emotional intimacy is important in a relationship because I feel like you can't really have deep trust, deep vulnerability, and deep authenticity with your partner, which if you don't have those things, you can't really have a deep relationship if you never are intentional to cultivate emotional intimacy. If you're never sharing vulnerably with each other in a trusted way if you're not holding space for each other to be able to share like your deepest feelings your secrets your fears like things that you don't share with anyone else if you're not cultivating an environment for that then it's really hard for a relationship to thrive because you have to have that trust and vulnerability i feel like in order to have a close relationship in a partnership what do you think yeah i agree i think there's like two big pillars to any good relationship and that would be physical intimacy and um, emotional intimacy. And yeah, without, without one, the other will eventually begin to fall short of what it takes to have a fulfilling, meaningful relationship. So yeah, I feel all too often people really neglect one or the other and really doing one of them well makes the other one better and vice versa. So it's just, it's one of those things that I, that I feel like does not get enough attention, um, especially the emotional intimacy. Yeah. For sure. I just feel like the relationship that you have with your partner when you're emotionally connected is so special because like you can tell anybody like I love you. You can like be friends with anybody or talk about things. But like when you have both of those forms of intimacy, when you have emotional intimacy, it's like sharing the deepest parts of you, like your soul and it being received and then it's like, I know you. Mm -hmm. You're the only person in the world who really knows me and still chooses to love me and want to be with me. And so that's what really bonds in a relationship, in a romantic relationship, because it's like, I see all of you. I know all of you, not just physically, but like inside too. Your, your fears and your stressors and your frustrations and your dreams and your hopes and like, I still choose you. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's what emotional intimacy cultivates. Yeah. And it's so important to me. Yeah, it's, it's important to me too, which is, it's like a funny dynamic because I'm a very private, unemotional person. And so to the majority of people that know me, I'm kind of just never showing any kind of extreme emotions, good or bad. I just kind of like tamp everything down inside and I, you know, process it myself and I don't really share how I feel with other people. It's just, I don't know exactly why, but it's just, I just feel most comfortable that way. Um, but then, you know, in having emotional intimacy with my life partner, with Tori, it's, it sometimes is tough because I'm so used to treating everyone else with like, you know, kind of the, the iron wall. Distance. Yeah, but yeah. it's it's an amazing thing to have emotional intimacy and be able to kind of like pour out like what I truly feel about things or, you know, kind of what my real thoughts are on something and not have to worry about, you know, the judgment or yeah. what anybody else thinks because it's just between the two of us. It's just being intimate with each other. Yeah. And that's another thing I want to talk about is um, this idea of like holding space 
And in, in this date night book that I made, I talk about it some in there so that couples can adequately hold space for each other. But basically it's this idea of one person's talking and the other person is holding this space where you're empathetically listening and you're not trying to problem solve. You're not defending yourself. You're not getting riled up or, you yeah. know, you're just like, you're just listening empathetically and truly being present not zoned out, not like thinking of your response, but like just really being there and being supportive. And I think that's kind of what creates a safe environment to be able to share. When you know that what you're gonna share, they're not gonna get mad about it. They're not gonna have a bad reaction because you've cultivated this safe environment. So I guess I'll just talk about my guide a little bit now, the date night that I made. Go we, for it. we went through it the other night. It was good. Oh uh, yeah, it was fun. So Basically, I, it's broken into three sections. So we start out with conversation starters and they're just like casual, fun questions to get the conversation going. And so there's 15 <coughs> questions that are just like chill, casual conversation starters. And then there's exercises. There's like six exercises, I think, to help create a safe environment where your nervous system can be calm and where like your nervous systems can sync up with your partner and you can be like on the same wavelength, if that makes sense. Like you can really be, um, feel secure and just like create that safe environment to be able to emotionally share. So some of the exercises are like um, syncing up your breathing, doing a certain amount of deep breaths uh, together, eye gazing together, which if you've never done, it's a little like, uncomfortable at first <laughs> but I feel like it's a good exercise to do mm -hmm. um, and it's okay to laugh while you do it or smile yeah. and then anyway so after like the six exercises then we get into the deep prompts and there are 15 deep prompts I will say like all of them may or may not be applicable or you may have already talked about them that was the case for us two of them we had just like talked about in conversation the night before so we didn't really have to answer those ones but if you haven't talked about them all and they're all super deep then you might not be able to get through all 15 that's totally okay too you can just pick five of them ten of them and so you can really tailor the date night to be for you yeah and whether you get through every single prompt and exercise isn't really the the goal the goal is to just kind of like break down some of those walls that maybe maybe where you have trouble communicating or trouble getting emotionally intimate with your partner and so you know, just by doing, even if you just do a third of them or half of them, if you can kind of get through that initial awkwardness and get comfortable with each other and kind of let the, your true feelings and your true thoughts like start flowing, that's, that's just the space that you're trying to reach. Exactly. And that's, that's the whole intent of the, of the exercises. Yes, exactly. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I've pulled on my Instagram a couple times now and um, a lot of people have answered in the poll that they tend to have trouble communicating with their partner or that they're okay at it, but like it's something they're actively working on. And so I think for any couple, whether you're great at communicating or not, um, this guide could really help you create emotional intimacy. And since it's Valentine's Day coming up, I felt like it'd be the perfect time to release it. So the guide is live right now, live today. So go to the link in my bio, check it out. It's super inexpensive. I want it to be accessible to everybody. So yes, I would love it if you go check out the guide. Yeah, ask yourself this, would you rather have uh, a box of chocolates and flowers that are gonna be gone in a day or would you rather be able to build emotional intimacy with your partner and they can help build up your relationship for decades to come? Yeah. Which is more valuable, you know? I personally have always had trouble buying flowers because they die so quick. It just does not feel like a good value. But something like this, I can see the long-term investment of it. Yep. So. I wouldn't mind some flowers this year, though. What, so. what flowers would I want? Some flowers. Yes, yeah. you know. Of course I know. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Stay wild. Peace out. Bye. Get wild for Valentine's Day. Nathan. <laughs> Stay wild. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>